You're ignoring me. Unani blue tick. Hello, excuse me. If you want me, if you want me to respond to you, I don't do salutations. I do a salutation with an issue, but before the issue, an introduction. So what kind of introduction am I looking for? A pitch. I keep talking about a pitch. Hi, my name is X. I am 25 years old. I am, and hopefully from your name, I can tell if you're a male or a female. Um, I'm a university student. I really need help with bursary or I, I need a job. Now, I need a job. A lot of you are asking for jobs. And you know, coming from the private sector, being an entrepreneur, I am really thinking of how I can create job opportunities. And there's so many ideas that we've put together, but it's been a difficult uh, task to try and understand how we can implement ideas with NGAF. We're not allowed recurring expenditure, so I can't employ. Somebody sends me a text messages, can I be your driver? No, you can't be my driver. Why? I already have a driver. Okay. Can I be your gardener? Can I be your watchman? Surely I'm not going to hire you as a gardener or a watchman if I meet you on social media. All right. And I already have a gardener. I already have a watchman. So let me try and see um, some of the problems that I have today. Now, somebody starts texting me on I'm not going to give the names here. Just to give an example so you know. Somebody starts on the 7th of February saying, Good evening. I don't do salutations. And don't call me. If you call me at ungodly hours, 7 o'clock, I want to be with my family. If you call me from 7 through midnight all the way to 5, 6 in the morning, all right, I block you. Don't video call me on WhatsApp. Video calls are strictly for my family. Okay? Don't try and call me on WhatsApp, all right? Just because you've got Wi-Fi, don't call me on WhatsApp because I can't pick phone calls. I really can't. I don't have the energy to talk to everyone. I'm, I get exhausted. So, so here we have good evening. You once offered to assist me with you, my university fees. Does that offer still stand? Now imagine, I don't know who this is. The, today, good evening. I don't know why I feel comfortable and confident with you. For some time now, We've been discussing on a lot on how to change the status of youth life. I still don't know who this is. All my life I've, want, I've lived worrying about other people and making sacrifices for them, starting with my elder brother. Time came and I hit the rock. Thought I, sh thought I should just concentrate on myself and forget about the others, but it didn't work. Then I realized the real me is the soft-hearted helping guy. And I can't change that. The problem is I have ideas that can make an impact, but sadly I lack the means to put them into effect. I'm trying as much as possible. I get even sacrificing so that someone somewhere can at least have a reason to smile. To me, happiness and peace is most important. I still have no idea who you are. So much stories, my goodness. It's like writing me a book on my WhatsApp. I can't, and by the way, she's, the person is still typing, all right? I just want a simple, simple message. Hello, I'm XYZ. First, she started off asking for bursaries. Now she's talking to me about how she wants to save the world. And I have no problem with that. But before you can save the world, you have to save yourself. You've got to be independent. All right. So that's just one message. Now, here's another one. Hi, our woman rep. No, human rep. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Okay. Hi, our human rep. Life is too short for lies. That's my that's my um, uh, WhatsApp um, status. Uh, status, okay? And then this person goes, Kweli Kabisa. I mean, this is a waste of my time. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to block this person. Why? Because there is nothing that they want me to do for them. They're wasting my time and they're wasting their time. So if you want to communicate with me, get to the point and make it short. Five sentences at the max, okay? Now, don't ask me to pay your rent because I don't have a budget or a vote for rent. Don't ask me to, okay, you know, I, I can't say this. Don't ask me to pay your medical bills. You know, as much as possible, I've really, really tried uh, to help people. And I try by giving them NHIF, all right? And then trying to see how we can solve the problem. I mean, I've solved a lot of medical problems, uh, but, but I really don't have a budget for medical. Funerals. Don't add me into a funeral, a funeral uh, fundraiser. 
all right you just add my name into a group without my permission but then also i don't have a budget for funerals okay um don't add me for you want me to pay for your no it was actually it was somebody whose wife was giving birth and the guy says you know i want i want you to help my wife she's giving birth i need some money and the guy said you had nine months to plan for your wife all right and if you had nine months to plan for your wife why are you asking me to pay for it and then you know the, the Moshimiwa said you know, that you know you are the one who enjoys your wife why am i paying when she's pregnant okay so obviously i can't give that kind of answer but it's true if your wife is pregnant you have nine months to plan for her and we've got linda mama all right so honestly that's not going to work pre-wedding if you decide to marry a woman keep your wedding simple pre-weddings i can't dowry i can't you know so you know let's look at what can gaff do for you the only fund i have is national affirmative action fund of course i can look for donors but i didn't want to start looking for donors until i understood the situation in nairobi and i still want to work myself and improve things we got some funding from the chinese embassy for sanitary towels only because community-based schools were not being catered for so i'm looking at messages so i'm giving you tips on how to communicate with me okay uh, let's see uh, this one uh, okay if you're trying to sell a house don't send me 200 pictures of the house I don't want to buy a house okay I don't want to buy a house I don't want to rent an apartment don't send me pictures of all the dresses that you have that you're trying to sell or all the shoes that you're trying to sell I honestly feel that um, you have to understand what my my job is for you my job is to empower you and I can't empower you if you're gonna clog my phone with uh, with things that I really can't help if you send me one or two pairs of shoes or one or two dresses and say wish me I make these dresses and I'd really like to dress you up in fact that has actually made me have one of my upcoming projects is to have 55 dresses made for me by Kenyans and to boost the tailoring and the manufacturing industry with local fabric. So that's coming up after we finish the Twente Kazi mobile competition on SDGs. Let me see what else, what else, what else. Okay, here. Uh -huh. This is another one. Let's see. Um, okay, this one. Hi, I am XYZ from Dandora. I have a joint dislocation and spinal cord disorder. It's not straight and my leg aches due to the joints dislocation. I didn't even go to school this term and the doctor told me I have to undergo an operation and it's so expensive. And so the doctors, my parents took me to said if I have a chance to go to India, my problem would not be there anymore. My biggest problem is funds. If you would help me find a sponsor, my heart would be happy my long-term dream is to be comfortable would come to pass and i would go back to school may all the almighty touch you your heart if you know any doctor who are professional in joint dislocation spinal cord problems recommend them to me i have went to several hospitals and it's hard and it's expensive and i'm waiting for your response okay so this is really a long text you know what I am hoping to bring the doctors from India. I will get in touch with this person, but I didn't need such a lengthy message. I needed a very short to the point message. So I will get in touch with this person and I've gotten in touch with quite a few. We helped a lady who had severe arthritis recently and um, uh, the doctors actually managed to take care of her. We helped another lady who was being detained in, in uh, Kijabe. They took the title deed. I'm really angry. You cannot take title deeds of patients. Kijabe should have actually uh, stabilized the lady and knowing that she didn't have the insurance, sent her to uh, a public hospital. But what they did is they kept her there and then they, they slept her with a bill of about uh, 500, 600,000. And then they, of course they take her title. Those are things that we have to settle. Um, let's see. Okay, this one has sent me so many images. Good evening, Honorable Pasaris. No salutations, please, okay? Um, X, Y, Z, and Arthur, a motivational speaker. I want to talk to you. She sends me lots and lots of posters of her book and whatever. Um, 
good morning i would like to request you to please support me i've been selling my books along the streets of nairobi to get some money to pay for my school fees pay for my mom's rent and to support my little sister who is in form four and also to donate pads to girls who are really suffering to rescue in rescue centers it's hard for me since no one supports me my mp paid for publishing costs of my book and life has become a hard struggle at the moment she shows me the picture of her in the sanitary towels a whole picture of sanitary towels i have a passion for changing other people's lives because i understand what it means to lack i've really struggled to achieve everything in my life i walk with my books everywhere i go and then she sends me a video okay do you know before you want to try and help others i know it's good to help others stand on your own two feet 100 percent you can give out something just to feel good but you see you're biting too much more than you can chew all right and then i'm, I'm more concerned about the form four year the form four student because we have high school we have high school uh, 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 bursary i will take care of the high school student but she, uh, her, her sister is going to high school so all i want to say is that every single day i get about and i'm not kidding I kid you not, I'm getting about 500 messages every single day. I'm not even going to tell you how many calls I get. I put my phone on silent, others I'd never be able to work. All right. The reason I'm sharing these messages with you is so that I can teach you how to communicate with Moshimua. All right. The first thing is, hello. And you know, for me, I work with constituencies and I work with wards. So you say, which constituency, which ward, what age group, what's your name? And what's your issue and then suggest a possible solution okay um, I know that times are hard all right I know that times are hard but we're not gonna make it any easier if we continue having children that we haven't planned the youth are having too many children reckless sex having children and then not being able to look after them 